Okay, so tonight I was thinking about how much I hate capacitors. <clears throat> and I hate capacitor testing tools. Let me explain myself. This first thing is actually kind of new to the bench. It's an ESR tester. It uses a, uh, what is it, a 100 kilohertz signal to measure ESR in circuit. Very cool. Let's see how it does with our new capacitor. All right. So our new capacitor <laughs> is showing a ridiculously low ESR. Is this thing zeroed? Let me put these leads together, clip these leads together. Yeah, okay, so yeah. Let's zero it. Okay. That's better. So we'll try positive to positive, negative to negative. Okay, so it's showing a pretty darn low ESR, but it's a pretty darn new capacitor. So that would pass our test. It's a new capacitor. I know it's fine. Let's try some other ones. This is a mystery capacitor, if we will. Put that on there. Again, pretty darn low ESR. Seems like a good cap. How about this one? That's a super low ESR too. Sounds great. All right, so we've got three capacitors with low ESR so far. Sounds great, right? Ready to stick them in your circuits? All right. And this one, well, this capacitor's open. So our ESR tech to test tester thing here determined this capacitor is stone dead. Okay. Now, that's fine. Now this thing is designed more for farting around with things on PC boards. Again, also a in-circuit tester. This not only tests ESR, but it also tests DCR. So let's see what it thinks of our capacitors we have here. The new one. Yep, nice, reasonable ESR reading. This is a really big capacitor. And uh, makes sense, DCR normal, and ESR is there. Okay, how about this one? Looks about the same as a new cap, sounds good. Of course, this one passed our ESR tester, so we know this one will be fine, right? DCR is low. Okay. Well, that passed the sniff test with our ESR tester. Why doesn't it pass this? This is the only probe they give you with this. It's kind of a pain in the butt. So, these two are still on the OK pile. This one's on the questionable pile. And this one, I think we did decide that this is dead. Yeah, that's dead. Okay. And then we have our trusty component identifier thing. Let's just see what it does with our probably stone dead capacitor. If I can get it to go in the little lever there. Unknown or damaged component. That makes sense. Okay. This is our relatively never, well, our never before used capacitor. 
If I were to call it new, I'd kind of be bluffing. It's been sitting on my shelf for, I don't know, a year. But unused capacitor. And I got an unknown or damaged, and it's probably just because I don't have the connections in good enough. Let's try this. Wiggly. Come on. Work. Okay, yes. 2198 microfarad. It's supposed to be a 2200. The ESR on this one is allegedly higher than it is on the ESR tester. This ESR tester gave us the lowest ESR rating. This one gave us, well, about 0.25, and this one gives us 0.55. So, yeah, they're all over the place. Okay, so, fine. How about this capacitor? Okay, it's supposed to be 2200 microfarad and it's 2334 with an ESR of 0.17. This must be a low ESR cap. Hmm. Now this is the one that my original ESR tester said, yeah, it's great, it's got low ESR. And this one was screaming that the DCR was bad. DC resistance was bad. And what does this tell us? Our component tester tests this and sees it as a resistor, a 0.34 ohm resistor. So our ESR tester just told us what the resistance was with a sine wave. This one does both an AC and DC test. That's a little better. And if we can take it out of circuit, we find out that this capacitor is more or less shorted. Now, for citizens who don't have ESR meters, one of the other stupid pet tricks, or if you have just a basic ESR meter, which, humorously enough, I'm kind of, that wasn't, it wasn't stupid expensive, but I kind of regret buying it. Um, you can take your multimeter and put it on high level ohms, like two mega ohms, and see if your capacitor will charge up to the point that it's a ridiculous amount of uh, resistance. It'll eventually climb close to infinity or get off the charts here, usually. What are we getting here? What are we doing? Yeah, it's the resistance climbs and climbs as the capacitor charges. Since this has never been charged, I'll be waiting here forever. But you can see the numbers on the ohms. The resistance is increasing as I hold the probes to it. So that's charging, at least on ohms I get something to work with. This is our also potentially good cap. We can see it charging. This one passed all of our tests. This one, which we know is open, should just stay at infinity resistance. And it does. And then this is our alleged one that's shorted. Let's see what this is. This is essentially at approximately zero ohms and not climbing. So this cap is shorted. Just using the ESR tester alone, I would have been up a creek. This kind of stuff is annoying. I'm not sitting here trying to bash other technicians and all the stuff, but the guys that are running around solely with an ESR meter, sometimes I feel like they might be missing something. <laughs>